Kiar. And welcome back to the Sonic the Hedgehog game. Sonic the Hedgehog on game. Kiar. Oh, hey, it's the it's Sonic Labyrinth. We do not no. speak of this. <laughs> Ever. Anyway, Labyrinth Zone. Isn't oh, you're in water. Like... I was wondering why you were so slow. Yep. Moving underwater. Also, drowning in... takes forever. Yeah, in the era that uh, Sonic could not swim. Moving around at the speed of... Bubble. Whatever. I, I don't understand know. game logic where, uh, you can go underwater for quite a long time, and you could be almost drowning, but you could go up, uh, um, for air for about one whole second, and you're completely replenished. It's like, oh, okay. Well, yeah, I can at least defend Sonic on this one. How? I... Huh? How? Well, considering how fast he moves, and being sort of scientifically bullshit here, um, he could... Pr in the time... Well, we see a... Well, for the, how long it takes us to take a breath? Say, two seconds? He's probably getting three or four in. Just because yet. of how fast his body is. True, true. Man, you so, know what this, that makes me miss? That kind of thing hmm. makes me miss uh, the concept movies webpage. Man, that place was... Uh, that was such a good website. I was so upset it closed down. It was my favorite... It was the only Sonic community I ever took part in and ever really considered as, like, just legitimate. There's very, very, there's a very few amount of Sonic communities that I will truly get into or really see as not kind of filled with, uh... Idiots? Haters? Well, I hate to really say this, but just like self-serving kind of... Self-serving fans, like... Well, that's kind of what every fan is. Well, no, I mean, like, in a way of, like, not, like, oh, self-serving, like, oh, like, you know, you could argue, well, everybody's self-serving. I'm talking about, like, we will deny and reject logical arguments for why something may be flawed or bad solely to make ourselves feel better. That kind of thing, like, rejecting yeah. opinions, ideas, like, if it's kind of like the hive mind sort of set, where it's, it's like, like... boosting uh, your own ego. Well, yeah, that's why I said self-serving. Because it's like, you know, the whole, like, oh, well, if you don't believe what this community believes and all the stuff that we agree on, then you're stupid and you don't belong here and what you say is dumb and you're not really a fan. Like, it. Mm, sounds like yeah. Captain Guild's on Maple Story. Yeah, pretty much. So, yeah, sounds like... Sounds like most uh, every fandom I know about. I still like to say that the only reason that people on Maple Story were so just stupid and annoying and closed of like that was because there was never really enough in the game to do so people filled the time by starting high school drama so uh, maybe if high were like drama. maybe if, I mean there weren't even any good productions on Maple Story. no one put together like Grease or The Sound of Music or anything they just bitched and I've seen that one so many times <laughs> I've seen I've seen the bitchy of the bitchy of Duckman's old. He needs to go into retirement. Anyway, jokes aside, um yeah, no, Concept Mobius was a really, really great uh forum that not only just generally talked about Sonic, but also had a lot of a lot of people who would, you know, craft up theories as to how the universe existed and how things took place in it. There are a lot of discussions on like simple like even the things that you wouldn't really think of such as what were what would sonic's shoes have to be made of in order to withstand the speeds that he runs at like Adamantium, not even titanium yeah something ridiculous but you know not even just like oh like how does he run that fast but you know just even more specific detailed stuff like how do his shoes stand up to that well, that and would be the first question like that, that would come to mind if you ask stuff like that. Well, yeah, well, I mean, I know in the old in the old cartoon, 
which I'm calling bullshit because of what they called it, he has frictionless shoes. Well, yeah, I mean, there's easy ways to excuse it, but people would actually actively try to see if physics could work with it. Like, if there were, even if they had to be outlandish or once in a blue moon, you know, what set of physics could possibly allow for that to actually happen? And it was really of... interesting. I mean, yeah. it's it's the kind of, they, those were the the people on that website and those forums were the kind of people who made the conclusions that technically, yes, Shadow actually is faster than, than Sonic if we're talking about strength of stride and you know endurance, because with his air shoes he actually builds more muscle. Um, you know, given how he has to put so much extra I effort. I've had this conversation before. We have. We have. <laughs> but, we have, but that's what I'm saying is that Concept Mobius, uh, that the people on that forum were the kind of people who thought of that stuff. Like, they were the kind of people anyway, who would dig up all that kind I, of ideas. I'd just like to point out that this is the only level that you don't have to worry about drowning. Oh. Just nullify it for this Screw level? Screw your logic! Um, Pretty it's a much. boss fight. Why the hell not? I guess. Uh, it's like at least uh, they were the kind enough to make us so you don't have to give up an theorist? opportunity to hit the guy. Yeah, game theorists. It basically it was a whole bunch of people like the game theorists who I love and adore, but they have been very slow about putting out content lately. Game theorists? Yes. Game theory. Yeah. I I really like game theory. Now some of it can be debunked, but the amount of research that he puts into something is ridiculous. Like for five nights, these two, he found a case in which matched Five Nights at Freddy's. It happened to be yeah. at Chuck E. Cheese's where there was five people. How yeah, a lot of people know about that. You... Well, well, I didn't know about that. A until lot of people know about it TV. now. Like he has done like. There's so much research. He's done research on, like, the physics of things, of, um, uh, about, he's, like, um... The did you see that one about the bar, fights? about, uh, uh, what was her name? Uh, fuck. That one, that one character from the, from the Mario Star thing? Uh, um, I... you're talking about... Rosalina. Rosalina, yeah. Rosalina, yeah. About her, about her being... Well, okay. Done. <laughs> What? I blame the conveyor belt on that one. Okay, yeah, well, I blame <laughs> you. <laughs> you still... Anyway, um... Yeah, no, like, there's one with Rosalina um, and about how she's po uh, potentially a descendant of Peach and how originally it's theorized that she's a descendant of Mario and Peach but then concluded that she couldn't be due to a few, or, well was unlikely to be, given a few traits that would actually point her to being a descendant of Peach and Luigi. Which was fairly, which I think was fair, kind of awesome. Yeah, Hey, of Luigi deserves love. Yes. I bless Luigi. I, st I still, and I didn't know this until I started watching videos of uh, one of my favorite um, YouTubers and streamers, I love how in Smash 4... They've made it so that if you actually hit with his taunt, like, hit with a little boot scuff, that it's just like an instant kill. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. I love them for doing the that. The fact they made gave him an offensive taunt, basically, is well, entertaining. I think it's great that with Smash 4, they basically were like, hey, let's take really difficult to land abilities and make them well worth the, you know, added skill. Yes. Somebody's eating food, who is it? Not me. Not me. Wait, what? Wrong buddy. Eating food. Somebody's eating food. Food? I want food. Uh, I'm oh, not food. eating food. Anyway. It was I'm Gary not trying food. to cough away from the mic. Since I do not eat since I do not hear it, it is probably me because my headset has broken. So you might be hearing things like my fan, uh, the music in the background, things like that. Oh, no, no, so I'm sorry, that. fans, if I sound like... A sh fan? Shitty bang bang. Oh, well. <laughs> Alright, so... You're not, not supposed to notice, or whatever, but how the hell are you supposed...
supposed to figure out that to get to the Chaos Emerald, you have to fall in the third pit, take the teleporter, and get the Chaos Emerald. Boom. Um, how, how the hell are you supposed to figure that out? You're not. Trial, Trial by error. death. Uh, you know how you figure that out? www.google.com How do uh, I do this? When this but, but, game first came out, but, he, he meant... Yeah. When it first came out, we had no fucking internet. True. So... The common well, man did not you have You pick internet. up a phone, and you pick up somebody nerdier than you. Which may be hard to find, but you can find them. And you say, yo, man. How the hell did you do this? <laughs> and Where when they say, going? I don't know, you're screwed. What are you doing? He's backtracking because back? he unlocked the path and he needs to go backtrack to where the path splits. Okay, so let's talk about how you would know that. Like... My trial and error stand. Well, yeah, but I mean... I feel like I guess... people find this out by kind of like half asleep, just like wiggling around like the joystick, just oh, and then suddenly... <laughs> Uh, new stage, and they're just like, wait, what? Oh, shit. Yeah, Don't that's... fall down that pit, by the way. <laughs> no, I was going to try to dive head first. I'm about to dive in. I don't know what song that is. Honestly, I just hear it on Vine. I don't listen to music. <laughs> that music. Uh... I had a train of thought. Oh, yeah, no, the whole thing about, like, trial and error, though, like, that's great, but there comes a point where if you're playing a game and half the time is spent running around saying, what do I do? Where do I go? <laughs> then you've kind of reached a point where it's like, you may want to have something to fall back on in terms True. of giving people a hint. Well, there's also there's the, there's the ever famous walkthroughs. Well, yeah, but at the same time, like conveyance is more important. True. Conveyance. Of... Act three, the only zone that contains the third act that has rings. Yay. Rings. Also, labyrinth maze cool. type thing. Fuck this it's stage fresh. thing. Why is this necessary? I have no idea. Ask Sega. They seem to be of doing a lot of things right for a blue blur lately. Hey guys, what do you get when you mix fire with ice? Um, water, Steam. boiling water, and evaporation. So, in the end, nothing. Good job, exactly. guys. Anyway. You've solved the mystery. Science, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> What anyway. do you do when you mix fire and ice? Uh, well, you have somebody who does not know how to put out a flame, you need to get away from them. You might want to get some actual water and call the police. <laughs> well, at least, it's, at least they're continuing with the trend of the good version of Sonic Boom. I mean... Hey, you can, nobody can deny that the D 3DS version was almost infinitely superior to the Wii U version. I can't but, say much because I have not played the 3DS version, but from what I've seen, thank you to some call me Johnny, um, I can say that I do agree with him that the 3DS version is a lot more stable and fun than, um, you know, the... What the F? Oh, wow. We're doing that. Oh. <coughs> God, that takes me back. The whole, like... Well, well, that's pretty much that pretty much describes you know Sega's shit right there. Well, the whole like you know no oh, no uh Hi, Gary. no 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 invincibility frame delay. It mm -hmm. takes me back when they uh, removed that shit from Maple Story. Yep. Hot. When the day potion consumption increased like tenfold. Oh my god. And you can't do that and you can't do your prepping rolling spin anymore? Um you, no, you don't do the spin dash on here or in Sonic the Hedgehog 2 on the game gear. Huh. You don't get the spin roll. dash until Sonic Chaos. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Which is the Wait. third game in the Game Gear. Oh, okay, so we're doing all of them. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. I was about to say, this is a lot of videos. This seems to be going quite quickly. Yeah, we're only covering two games for this session. I'm hey. still, um, editing the, um, Sonic Chaos playthrough, and I still need to sit down and record Triple Trouble. So. Nah, you don't need to do that. Don't do it, eat pizza. That sounds like an amazing plan. I agree with this. You nearly <laughs> got ruined. Nearly, but I didn't. You almost got wrecked. To be fair, al almost only does truly count with horseshoes, hand grenades, and various bombs. <laughs> huh. Why? Anyway, I guess I can give you here's ten another what the fuck moment. How to get there. Final Chaos Emerald in this game right here. Hmm. Well, where am I supposed to look? Well, I would have never guessed I'd have to jump down there on the floating platform. What, pl what floating platform, about? you may ask? Well, just watch. What? What? Wow. Well. You couldn't even see that. Exactly. That's that moment when somebody is so tired that they fall off. And they're yeah, like, like <laughs> what? what? That's when you get to the moment where you're just like throwing yourself off of ledges because you're just like, fuck this shit, maybe it's down here. <laughs> no, I've like, I've found things in games by like, just not. Oh yeah, no, like, I know. Like you give I up too. and you're not paying attention and all of a sudden, you've unlocked a new mode! What? What? This was not in the playthrough that I watched. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, getting close to um, getting our final Chaos Emerald. Which is where? Well, see, well, first you have to go to the. You have to there go to Angel Island Zone, and you gotta get on the swing, and you gotta press, press left, left, right, right, up, up, down, down, enter. Wrong game, Evan. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm spot on with my information. This is in no way inaccurate. I said wrong game. Last I checked, I didn't give a fuck. <laughs> anyway, we got our final Chaos Emerald, and now we're gonna go against the final boss. Wow, that was a level. Yep. I'm guessing you skipped half of it, or was it just always that sad? Well, the saddest part is, if you didn't take that platform, this level would have taken longer. That's... Hmm. Basically okay. what he just asked. Yeah, but still, no, like, just the fact that they made it that way is like, okay. They're rewarding you for figuring out the bullshit, at least. I suppose. <laughs> well, that fire wasn't there a second ago. They know oh. No, but here's the thing. Okay, you have to keep an eye on the fire. Now, it'll start at the very left. And then, it'll start from the right, and then to the middle. Repeat process. And, you know, this final boss is just pretty fucking simple. You just gotta watch where hey, you're... He looks like a yeah, cage you just gotta dancer. pay attention pretty much. Not one of Gary's That's strong it. points. That's the final... That's the final boss. That's it? That's it. Well, that was a game. This was on this was on a handheld game, you no know, game yeah, console. So back in the day, back in, mm -hmm. back when handhelds were not nearly as impressive as the consoles. Mm. Nowadays, they can actually give the consoles a halfway decent fight. What? What? Teleport right on top of. Egg. How convenient! Exactly. Egg? So getting on the Chaos Emeralds, we um. Bark, bark. So face. Well, just look. Bark. Man, look how dirty this island looks. Let's go on ahead and use the power of the chaos emerald to clear it. But we'll just leave that, you know, little labyrinth space station thing of Eggman's up there. Yep. Well, to be, I can actually see the wisdom in that with the whole keep your enemies, your friends close, and your enemies closer. 
Well, I don't know. They're a bunch of tiny animals, so I'm well, not sure how well that works. One being, like, the one being in this whole damn world that can go head-to-head -head with Eggman lives on this island. What island is this again? I assume South um, Island or some stuff yeah, like that. South Island. South Island. Ma'am, what a name. I wonder why yeah. someone named it South Island. Was it perchance it south? south? Was it, yeah, exactly. I was going to say, was it perchance south of wherever the hell they came from to discover it? Oh, are we going to... That's gonna, it. Are we gonna be, That's is, Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear. Is Thank it supposed to be time. him, like, singing? No. Then why does he have a microphone? Is he announcing the credits or something? That would probably yes. be. Um, having your Maybe he's singing karaoke. Yeah, that's the only Maybe thing. Maybe the music is actually him this whole time. My god, what talent. <laughs> but, overall, I have no issues playing this game every now and again. I don't play it like every single fucking day, 24-7, but if I need to pick it up and play it... Maybe once every couple no of years. It. Yeah. Eh, it's still, if you pick it up that much, it's not like a disaster. Yeah, like, the last time I actually picked up this game, before I recorded for this channel, was actually for my 8-bit summer special for my channel. I believe I remember that. I don't. Sorry, Gary. That's me. <laughs> it's okay. I played Sonic Adventure 2 with you. Yep. All is forgiven. <laughs> By the way, mm -hmm. we still need to get together and play Sonic Heroes. Sonic Heroes! Do we have to? Yes. Yes, we Why? have to. Why? <laughs> That's a... <laughs> Well, it could be worse. Could be Shadow the Hedgehog, which we will be doing after Sonic Heroes. <laughs> that wasn't what I was thinking of, but okay. We ain't playing Sonic Boom. I mean, I'll play bad games, but I won't play broken ones. Would you rather play Sonic Spinball than... Boom? Yes. Alright then. I'll, I'll remember that. I'm hoping that, like, five games come out before we actually get to that. <laughs> It'll just forever be put off.